we have spoken and we've spoken of love we've spoken of rejuvenation we've spoken of reflectiveness we have spoken of coming into the oneness but you know there's one part one participle that we have left out and that is of peace for, for peace when I speak, there are for war. Psalms 120 reminds us, it seems that the psalmist was getting frustrated at not finding any peace in all of the surroundings or in the entire world. But in a state of great stress and agony, he asked God to deliver him from the corrupt minds to do that of peace. In this state of confusion, in our neighborhoods, in our homes, in our schools, in all of our environment right now, the thing that we seek even more is that of peace that of serenity, that of calmness. We're torn by war in so many facets. But if we seek that of God, we seek that of peace. Peace of a prayer, peace of your heart, peace of your mind, peace of your body. But most of all, that of peace of the glory of God. Be that of peace. Because God reminds us, do not let your hearts be troubled. Do not be afraid. Because I give you peace now and forever.